Well, the Indian Space Research Agency, ISRO, has successfully completed the second fully autonomous landing of its space plane. The space plane is a unique vehicle. It is meant to be launched into space atop a rocket where it can steer itself in space and also perform experiments autonomously. Well, the latest landing test was carried out by ISRO teams in partnership with the Indian Air Force at the Aeronautical Test Range Runway in Chitra Durga, Karnataka. This is the second helicopter drop test being carried out with the space plane and the third landing trail being performed by this aerospace vehicle. Once the mission is completed, it can re-enter the Earth's atmosphere like a plane and land on a runway. The plane is uh, similar to a cargo-carrying vehicle that can be used to ferry satellites to space or carry experiments to space. Within ISRO, this plane is designated as RLVTD, which stands for Reusable Launch Vehicle Technology Demonstrator. Recently, it has been named Pushpak, a reference to the flying vehicle from the Indian epic Ramayana. RLVTD space plane idea was born for more than two decades ago. Over the last decade, the plane was being made and also built. The Indian space plane weighs 1.6 tons, uh, measures 6.5 meters in length and 3.6 meters in breadth. In 2016, the plane was flown to the upper atmosphere on a rocket and then allowed to glide back and land at sea. This tested the plane's structure crucial systems and their ability to withstand up to five times the speed of sound or Mach 5. Mach 5 is regarded as the start of the hypersonic speed regime. In April 2023, the space plane RLVTD was carried, carried out by an Indian Air Force helicopter to a height of 4.5 kilometers. Then the plane was dropped. In a matter of minutes, the plane weighing 1.6 tons it came back onto the runway fully autonomous. At the time of landing, the plane came in at a speed of 360 km per hour and then gradually reduced speed with a brake parachute. And for more on this, our correspondent Siddharth so MP is joining us live on the phone line. Hi Siddharth, the Indian Space Research Organization has successfully carried out the landing mission of its reusable launch vehicle named Pushpak. Talk to us about the significance of the latest test. So Raisha, to talk to you about this particular test, this is actually a more sophisticated repeat of a test carried out in April last year. So like you pointed out in April last year itself, the same drop test was carried out. But this time around, the parameters of the test were more stringent and, you know, a more challenging task was given to the plane. Essentially, in a piloted plane, the pilot has to align the plane exactly with the runway and then come land. So what do you do in an autonomous plane? This plane was exactly programmed to do exactly what a pilot would do. Only that it is not controlled by anyone. There is no pilot sitting on board. It's barely the size of, a, of an SUV or two. It weighs just about 1.6 tons. What this plane is programmed to do is that when it is dropped from the helicopter, it is meant to simulate how a plane will actually come into land when it approaches from space. Hmm. So this plane has to use its sensors and its software to understand the conditions, take real decisions, and then come in for a smooth landing. And it executed the smooth landing despite the you know tough conditions presented to the right. plane, Raisha. Right, so that. Thank you so much for joining us here on Beyond and sharing insights with us on this latest test carried out by ISRO.